Hey, a few weeks ago, both of our daughters were visiting us. So we thought, let's do something together. And I went online and rented a sailboat for us. Like, I don't own a sailboat at the moment, so I keep on renting. That's actually a good way to do some sailing. The two best days of a sailor's life is when you buy a sailboat and then when you sell it. So uh, We've been doing that before. I mean, we've been on, on, on a Baltic Sea quite a few times and I already made at least one video about that. So I put the link to the description so you can look at that. Uh, that episode, <clears throat> if you are interested more about sailing, but now I thought I'm gonna talk a bit more about photography. Even though the sailboat itself was an interesting, it was an older Finnish design, actually built only about 10 miles from where we live in the early 80s, but it's an older design, it's, it's a 70s design. Uh, the brand name is H35, so it's a 35 feet long boat, but it's an older construction and design, so it's fairly narrow. That particular boat has gone over the Atlantic at least twice, so it's been in places, so now it's on the Baltic Sea and, and we found somebody who was willing to give it for us for a week. Now that Finnish archipelago, it's full of small islands and fishing villages and whatnot, so it's more like island hopping than ocean sailing, which is nice for that kind of a vacation. Let me show you some pictures just to get you on the right mood.
Hey, as of my gear, I had uh, my Hasselblad stuff with me. I had my super wide and then I had my 500 cm. And I mostly used my planar 80 mm or 50 mm distagon. However, I think most of the pictures I took with the super wide, this is really handy in the situations like when you are on a boat and you can't really move away from your subject to get it in the picture. Like I can't walk on water, so I need to be in the boat and shoot. And that means that having a wide angle lens that has no distortion is a pretty neat tool and, and you can get a lot of that boat space covered with, with a super wide. Films mostly Ilford FP4 Plus and uh, Delta 100. And before even going on a boat and boat trip, I knew that I will develop them in Rodinal 150. I more and more use this Rodinal to develop these pictures. I just love uh, especially Ilford FP4 Plus and Rodinal. Such a such a nice combination. I mean, I know there's a lot of people who think Rodinal is just a waste of film, but I, I just I'm just loving it. 150 dilution. Now um, there was this one day we were on the one of the furthest islands on a Finnish archipelago, far away on the Baltic Sea, and and we knew that we need to start to turn back to the mainland. It was pretty windy day, and unfortunately the wind was coming from the northeast, meaning that we needed to sail against the wind. I don't mind. That particular boat, H35, is especially good for sailing upwind. And, and we put the main sail into the first reef and kept on sailing towards the wind. And I, I had such a good time. And then I thought, I really want to store that and capture that on film. And one way to do that is to lean over the reeling and, and really try to get the waves and all that. I did some of that, but even more. There's now one trick that I've been using, which I love a lot. So say uh, it involves having a tripod and then ND1000 filter. With ND1000 filter, you can limit the light that goes through your lens 99.9%, meaning that you have really long exposure times. For FP4, you know, the exposure times went up to 16 seconds or so in the middle of the day. And then tripod to stabilize things as you have long exposure time. Most of the time when we take tripod pictures using a tripod, we want to stabilize the world. And then if there's something moving in our picture, they say a person or a car or whatever, we might see a shadow image or the headlights of a car might draw a curve and you know, you know what I'm talking about. And then that, that's a neat effect. But I like to turn that the other way around and make the moving object stationary and stabilize that and let the world spin around me. So here it meant that having a tripod on a boat and then all the boat movements you know that the tripod moves the same way as the boat so the boat is fairly focused as the rest of the world gets smushy and that's a neat way to get the element of speed and maybe even danger into your pictures so i took a lot of those pictures uh, let me first show you some of the um, stormy pictures that i took leaning over the reeling and then i show you some of those tripod pictures Bye. 
there's a lot of time on a boat to think about how you want to shoot. And as I explain, I guess, in some of my other video, videos that to me, photography is not taking pictures or capturing. It's about creating pictures. And it's not to me like documenting what's happening, but it's I desperately try to create the emotional feeling that I want in my pictures. Even lying if that is necessary, just to get the emotional feeling to the picture. Nice trip, creating photography, not snapshots. Spending quality time with my family. Getting a few pictures that I personally like. Could be worse. Really enjoyed the trip. Now the kids are back to wherever they are. They, they are no longer here, so I have time to make these videos. So thanks for watching. Next time something else. See you around. <laughs> <laughs>